Howdy, y'all. So, we are here today in my collection room, and I got four new shelves to hopefully add some space to my Billy bookcases here. Um, as you can see, a lot of these have a lot of empty space above their heads, and I feel like that's pretty wasted. Um, so, I think I can probably get at least one shelf in each of these, maybe more. I bought four. Um, I have three cases. I'm thinking I might be able to get a couple in this one because there's a lot of short stuff in here. This is just my general Disney and random Japanese collectibles section. So we'll see what we can fit in here, how these work. This is the first time I ordered the extra shelves. Um, a lot of the times you can't order them online or they have to come with bigger things, um, but I checked recently and they were able to be shipped on their own so i don't know ikea does this weird thing where like availability is weird so whatever anyway i got four more shelves so we're gonna see what comes with this and hopefully i don't need anything i hope it comes with the pegs and stuff and uh, move everything around and see what we get so this is the current state of the collection and let's see what we come up with Okay, so quick little update here. They came in one box. Each one is individually like saran wrapped, which I hate plastic, but I guess it has to be. I don't know. I feel like they could have put these in little bags. Anyway, um, so each one is individually wrapped and it looks like it does come with the pegs, which is awesome. So I don't have to worry about getting anything extra. So um, there we have it. Um, so let's uh, start reorganizing. Okay, I made it a little bit further. I got an extra shelf in here. So what I did, I moved these two up. Um, kept this little here because I don't want, really want to move the one from the middle. I kind of want to keep that middle ground there so this doesn't cut anything off. Um, so what I did is move these two up and added the shelf in here um, just enough to make sure the box is fit for the glossy and the matte. And that would be my Nichols shelf for now. Um, custom tags are ready for when I make my little custom coal because I'll never be able to afford one and the custom auction model which I'll never also ever be able to afford. Um, also got ready for the next one from this year so that'll be a custom as well. Uh, you can see these two are the customs. Um, I usually make mine just a little bit different anyway so you can never really confuse them. Um, so yeah it's not like faux OF it's just to help my brain keep my conga complete. It guess it's like a OCD thing. I don't know, but anyway, so that's the plan for those. So that's all labeled and making sure that that never gets confused, which it really shouldn't because you, uh, you can see. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so actually I thought then this would be a great shelf for the congas of the Stablemate Georgs, um, cause I'm sure there's going to start pumping out a lot of them, especially when they hit regular run status. And then, of course, I'm going to need those, too. So that will be there. And these are the Gustavs, which are similar. They're also by Burl. Um, but, um, so yeah. So I think that'll work for now. We'll keep that as a small stable made shelf. I can always get a little riser to add there. So that's good. And we have our nickel shelf now, um, which is actually running out of room already once I get those customs done. Um, Hopefully no new ones come out anytime soon. Um, so yeah, now it's on to these bottom shelves. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I might, you know what? I don't really want to touch that. I could move these up, but that I just don't want to move clinkies that much. Um, so I'll probably get, take all those out for somewhere else. And get all the horse clinkies and ferret clinkies, whatever these clinkies are, and put them on the bottom there. Um, so it kind of keeps the clinkies together. Um, maybe eventually I could add another shelf in there, but I don't think I need that. Um, just need to get these in here. I'm going to try and get one more in this cabinet because I would like to, you know, get my models all organized. Um, yeah, so... That's it so far, and uh, we got some models over here still that need to be put back in. I would like to get this cleared off and also in a cabinet for the extra shelf, probably on the random miscellaneous cabinet, um, because I'm running out of celebration model room, as you can see. You already can't really see the models anymore, because they're kind of all crammed in there. Um, so yeah, 
back to more thinking, I guess. All right, I think this cabinet is done. Um, I actually got, I think, two shelves in here? Yeah, two shelves in here. Um, I think that's all the shelves I'm going to be getting in here. Um, so this will stay empty in case I get any more big bowls um, place for those. And I left this shelf alone. This one I moved up and I was able to get a, another little shelf in here for um, all the cartoony bowls and my other little clinky bowls. So I'm trying to keep all the bowls and cows together. Um, and I had this little piece of wood back here in my garage it's like it was like the perfect size i don't know how that happened so i just painted the front white so it's not as obvious and it worked it's not as thick as i wanted but it's it works keeps those in there and um so kind of left this shelf alone also just moved some things up there and i got some more room so i took some clinkies from the other cabinet and put them here and then i took the clinkies from the top shelf in the other cabinet and they're all down here now um, so this one's done and I don't know, um, it looks like a mess, but clearly it's organized. It's just so much stuff in there, but it fits and I still have some room for some more bowls. So I guess I'll just get used to it. So it's, that's just the way it is. And now on to the others. Next step I think is to, oh my God, there's so much crap in here. <sighs> All right, so there's one shelf left. Um, I actually might need to get more shelves. So I think I'm going to be splitting up the little doodads here. Maybe put the um, turning red and Zootopia pieces on one shelf and the rest on another shelf, maybe? I don't know. This shelf is good. It'll probably stay like that, um, either move up or down. Um, that blank spot is for the kit that I still have to put together for the last unicorn. So, oh, I still need an animal shelf. And, oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to sit and think again. Um, but I think I'm done for today because this has just been breaking my brain. So there's where we're at today. Hopefully we'll get a little further tomorrow. Okay, I lied. So one more quick little thing that I did because I had to put everything away anyway because I didn't want to leave it out with the cat. Um, I got this shelf all situated for my prize models, which are basically models that I've won as some sort of prize or given to me or some form or another. A little Sergeant Reckless, that doesn't quite fit in, but it'll stay there for now. I might actually move that to a different shelf. Anyway, um, so those are those, uh, kind of out of the way. Um, eventually I think I'm going to move this shelf up a little bit and I kind of threw a decorator shelf together. Um, Technically, these two I'm trying to sell. Please, somebody buy them. <laughs> They're just taking up too much uh, space, really. Um, not quite fit into what I collect. I mean, this one really needs to go the most. Um, I kind of want to keep the Croy, but um, she's been for sale. Anyway, it'll just help save me some room. Um, I think this will be the animal shelf. Um, these two also are still for sale. Um, but again, this one's pretty, so I don't know. Whatever. Um, anyway, so that's what I have so far. Um, so this cabinet is almost done, I think. Okay. Um, animal shelf down here, maybe. Yeah, I'll make this the animal shelf. Um, there's still some things around, I think, that need to move to an animal shelf. Um, and yeah, then it's working on moving this around. So I probably could use one or two more shelves for the little trinket things. Uh, I don't know but it's getting awfully crowded up in here, but at least they're fitting now. So can't complain too much. And yeah, so tomorrow was another day. All right, so further along in the process, um, bleh, I have way too much stuff, um, but I've been through this before and I've gotten rid of a lot. And like, so what's left is stuff that I want to keep. So I don't know. I don't know. I always go through this and it already is like a bummer when I go through this because it's like I just oh, sometimes I just want to just get rid of all of it. And it's just too much. Anyway, um, so everything looks crazy crowded. Um, I guess I've gotten more in here or can eventually because I guess those are spaced out more the horses up there. But um, so I, I don't know. There is room to fit more stuff so far. 
Um, so what I've done here, I added that last shelf, which it looks like I might actually need one more shelf, um, at least, uh, to add into here, um, to just because I have the space and I think I'm going to need it. So um, I took some stuff out of here. So that shelf is pretty blank now and has some room, at least for the celebration models and the VIP swag thing for upcoming years. Um, that was a goal to get that clear. Um, I'm still going to need an animal shelf, which I think I'll make that bottom one. Um, I might put the ones pending that I, you know, that are for sale, like next to these bowls for now, just to get them out of the way. Um, cause they shouldn't be staying here forever. Um, and yeah, so I put all the like vintage Disney stuff and some of the, um, you know, uh, cups from the festivals I've been to down here. Um, and then there's, um, like Warner Brothers stuff and miscellaneous cartoon stuff. And then you have Nickelodeon and then you have yeah, Nickelodeon and then just some random rocks and things. Um, and the little Rocko corner and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Then it separated that to bring out the turning red stuff up there along with the Zootopia stuff and some just other Disney collectibles that were on the other shelves. Um, so that's looking just as crowded as before. Um, I have a shelf that's pretty blank now, so I don't know what I'm doing next. Um, I guess I'll figure out this animal shelf first. And then this is a shelf that needs to go back in. That's all the unicorn stuff and painted pony stuff. So that's going to take up probably this next shelf or I'm trying to keep all the horse stuff together and then bring down this stuff. So I guess the next step really is to, uh, I don't know. Um, maybe bring down the Japanese stuff and somehow combine the Dragon Ball Z stuff with that. Um, cause that doesn't take up a whole shelf. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. And then I guess the unicorn will be here and then I don't know. I don't know. Uh, miscellaneous horse things still have to go somewhere. I think I don't, <sighs> I don't know. Um, so I guess stay tuned for more. Blech. All right, I think I'm going to call it. Um, I say it's good enough. I've got four extra shelves in there. I got everything in there. All my breakfast purchases, everything that wasn't fitting is now fitting. Cleared up a lot of space, cleared up some space over here. So I think this is good enough for now and I'm gonna have to live with, you know, the mess for now. Um, eventually, I think I'd like to get one of these bookcases, put it somewhere else maybe when we finish the basement and just put the Disney stuff in it. Cause that's, you know, that takes up a lot of space and I feel like it kind of needs its own cabinet. But anyway, here's where it's at. This is all my crap. Um, yeah, so I'll go through real slow. So we have the prize-ish models up here, prize gift type things um, that I've won or whatever. Um, Japanese stuff, I just left it alone. It was just too much to move around right now. So I'm just leaving it alone. We have the unicorn and painted pony shelf and miscellaneous stuff here a little bit, like the fantasy-ish stuff. Um, this is the uh, kit that needs to get put together and painted and that's where it's gonna go when it's done. So that's got a space for it now. Um, Dragon Ball Z, maybe eventually like to get this combined with the Japanese stuff somehow. Um, because if I do get a Disney case, the Japanese Disney stuff can go in that case and that clears up a lot of space there too. So that's that. Um, then we have the Disney collectible-ish shelf um, with the Turning Red and Zootopia stuff mostly. And then here is the other miscellaneous cartoon stuff and the vintage and mugs and things uh, from the parks. Down here we have the animal shelf. It's actually looking kind of bare. I thought I had more animals than this, although I do have the stink bears over there but they have their own box and i don't think that's going to fit in here and i want them in their own thing so maybe i can find something smaller to put in here with the animals to keep them together um and then the decorator shelf this guy's just gotta go um croy i kind of want to keep but it should kind of go too but it actually goes more with this um he just doesn't 
fit in very well with my collection so I'd really like him to go because he also takes up a lot of space um, and then we have the crystals and the stable made stuff I didn't touch this I'm just gonna leave this alone um, hopefully I can find a spot for next year's crystal uh, then we have our Nicholas Conga shelf we have our other miscellaneous Georg and Gustav Conga shelf um, we have the Georg Conga Georg 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 uh, Conga um, so I have actually extra space now so we're ready ready for some more of these um, and then my customs over there so I should have enough space for you know a few upcoming if any and uh, that was the main reason for doing this. Oh, I didn't even finish it. Um, so now we have the moose. Uh, so all my moose over here. Here is the temporary spot for these guys. They also need to go. Otherwise, this one's going in the body box. But kind of like to keep that one. But again, could go or trade future. I don't know. Um, then we have the collectibles and the smaller moose. And we have other um rubbery moos and here we have the moo clinkies moo clinkies in there and we have mostly uh horse zebra clinkies and other miscellaneous um sort of things and then we have all the rest of the clinkies down here so i think it did a pretty good job organizing it's just everything is just, just so much and it just looks so cluttered and i hate it but it's gonna have to do. I have space now, so yay, I guess. But I think I am collecting burned out, so probably won't be buying much as far as collectibles um, anytime soon. So any hoodles. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. So please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye!